Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about different warm-up exercises to improve your head kicks. In order to improve your head kicks, you gotta start with a good warm up. And it starts with a lot of stretching and warming up. So, one of the easiest ways to warm up in martial arts is our skipping. So, I like to start a lot of my warm ups with skipping because we need to improve our calves. Bouncing on our calves is really important. But at the same time, we're getting the body moving, we're getting all the blood flowing to our shoulders, our hips, our glutes and our hamstrings and quads. So skipping helps get the blood moving, helps warm up the body. Once the body is a little bit warm, it's time to use the lacrosse ball and our foam roller. We really gotta get in there on the tight spots. And what you're gonna find is everyone is a little bit different. Everyone has some imbalances. Some people are tight in some spots over others. So you have to kind of discover, learn about mobility and flexibility and find the areas you really need to focus on. I'm gonna use myself as an example. I got really tight hips and hamstrings. So for my hips, I really like to get inside with the lacrosse ball, really feel that pressure. And again, the lower back, my hamstrings, my glutes, I mix between foam rolling and the cross ball. So there are different tools, find what works good for you, but it's important to really loosen up the fascia, get the muscles moving so you can get your head kicks that high. It's also important now, that you add in mobility. It's getting in, sitting down, using the, the bottom of a squat position, good for opening the hips. Practicing your traditional stretches also helps as well. Using the side splits, alternating to either side, all helps you turn over your kicks and be able to get your head kick high, okay? So make sure you use a balance of these. Foam rolling, lacrosse ball, and static stretching. I also like to add in more dynamic stretches as well, where I do leg swings forward as well as sideways. You wanna start getting the blood moving and the hips moving as best as you can, all right? So make sure you mix in all of the different techniques to make sure you're as loose as possible. Now I like to move over to what I call the chair or the ring hold kicks. You wanna balance yourself and really focus on getting the kicks out. So in this episode, I'm using my fighters to show how we do it. We like to hold on to the side of the ring and really practice on our side kick, hook kicks, and turning kicks. All three different angles helps work different parts of the hip. It takes one type of flexibility to throw a side kick versus hook kick versus the turning kick. So holding on, getting your balance, and really getting that stretching, focusing on slowly bringing up the level of your kick is all gonna help you loosen up your hips. Okay, so make sure you do practice all three different types of kicks because it helps loosen up different areas. All right, so side kicks, hook kicks, and turning kicks, holding on. And then you can play different games. Sometimes I like to get my fighters to keep their legs up and travel across just to keep a little bit of more dynamic as well as strengthen the muscles that are required to throw the head kick. Once you have the balance all set up holding onto the ring, it's important now you mix it in what I call shadow kicking. You have to be able to mix in axe kicks, side kicks, and practice in a shadow boxing setting. This way you can kind of kick through, open up the hips. A lot of times you'll see me kick through the technique, especially in the beginning when you're tight, you don't want to restrict that muscle. So by letting the kicks flow and getting them on opposite sides, it's just gonna help you open the kicks. Once you get a little bit more comfortable and the hips start feeling open, now you can do more of that chambered style kick. Knee up, return, and come back. And that's when you're a little bit warmed up, you're gonna find that really easy. Then when you get comfortable and the hips are really warm, you can let those kicks fly. Left, right, axe kick, spin kicks. All right, let the hips open and unfold. Now, to end it, it's really important that to get a good high kick, you gotta have some good power and good snap and rotation through the technique. So this is where my single pad drilling, which is the fifth exercise you should be doing. And holding the single pad is great because it lets you work different levels. You can hit low kicks, body kicks, head kicks. But for this particular episode, we really focused on the head kick. Just keeping that one pad up and letting the fighter really kick through the technique is just gonna help open up. All right, so even when you're holding the pads, start low and slowly let your partner, as they get more flexible, get those kicks flying. All right, so make sure when you do these exercises, you can do them as individual exercises to get better, or you can put them as we did with my fight team today, as we did it as a full warm up from the skipping into the foam rolling, into shadow kicks, into the chair and the ring holds, finally with the single pad holding. And you can see from the beginning of the workout to the end how much your flexibility and the confidence in throwing your high kick comes along. All right, so make sure you keep liking, subscribing, and following Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Make sure you keep up to date, click the bell notification, and we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.